begin. Um, welcome, everyone. Um, thank you for taking time out to attend today's webinar, Wood Innovations, What's New, What's Next in Engineered Wood Products. Uh, my name is Nirmala Thomas, and I'm the Director of Market Development at FI India. Um, the webinar for today will be approximately one hour in duration. Before we begin with this session, just uh, kindly allow me a few seconds to introduce Canadian Wood to you. Canadian Wood, also known as FI India, is the crown agency of the government of British Columbia in Canada. We are a non-profit organization with a mandate to educate and promote use of BC forest products in the offshore markets of India. British Columbia is recognized as a global leader in sustainable forest management. Canadian Wood in India has been actively promoting wood as a sustainable raw material in various applications through its five legally sourced species, namely SPF, commonly known as spruce pine fir, western hemlock, Douglas fir, yellow cedar, and western red cedar. Today's topic of webinar is engineered wood products. Engineered wood products are designed and manufactured to maximize the natural strength and characteristics of wood. These products are dimensionally stable, offer great structural strength, and at the same time work as sustainable and cost-effective solutions too. Without taking much of your time, I would now like to hand over to Pranesh Chibber, Country Director of Canadian Wood, to take this webinar ahead. Over to you, Pranesh. Thank you very much, Nirmala. Uh, a very warm welcome to all the uh, people who have logged in for this webinar, and thank you for taking time out to do so. Uh, I also welcome Mr. Haridasan and Mr. Puneet, along with our technical advisor, Peter Bradfield, to the webinar. Uh, without uh, going into the details of who we are, what we are, which I think Rimbla has very really adequately covered already, I would straight away jump into as to uh, what is this engineered wood or engineered panels we have uh, for the topic today for the Wood Innovation Series. Uh, incidentally, this is our third webinar in the Wood Innovation Series. Uh, the first one we had was on structural uh, use of the wood. The second one was on the door jams and doors, and the third one we are having on engineered wood. Uh, we will certainly we are following it up with another one, the last one on uh, furniture on the 8th of September. Please do join in then again. Uh, the thought behind having this webinar is to talk about the engineered panels, which of course Peter is going to elaborate in detail. But why we thought about uh, these engineered panels or promoting the engineered panels. We came across uh, amongst many uh, two major challenges uh, which were preventing a very, uh, I would say mass use of the uh, wood. And that was the nature of the Indian market, uh, which is highly fragmented, many small and medium scale uh, manufacturers spread across the country. That was a huge challenge as to how to get across to them. And, and, the, and the idea is that all of them, because it is an unorganized industry, uh, they are having not a standardization of sizes. So sizes was a big challenge for us. The other challenge was that traditionally India has been a hardwood market, uh, which has gradually changed over the period of last five to 10 years. And today uh, we are in a happy state that the softwood species have uh, garnered about 60% or plus of the market in India uh, of the imported wood, which comes in. Uh, but the, the difference between the imported uh, softwood and the hardwood market is that the hardwood is relatively not free. Uh, the, the only drawback uh, or the challenge which softwoods bring to the table is the number of knots are higher. So uh, to win over these twin challenges of the knots as well as the specific sizes, if this lumber is used to make the finger jointed edge glued board, the manufacturers can use it by ripping off the size they want without the knots in them. And that's what propelled us to go in for a very uh, detailed kind of uh, product trials with selected manufacturers across India. And I'm happy that two of them are here with us uh, today to share their experience with us. Uh, before uh, 
these people come on. I would request uh, our technical advisor, Mr. Peter Bradfield, to come on and talk to you about the uh, engineered wood panels, followed by Mr. Hari Dasan and Mr. Puneet Patel. Over to you, Peter. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Pranesh, for that uh, introduction. Uh, let me just uh, bring up my screen. Okay. Um, so uh, let's get right into it. Um, I guess everyone knows what we're looking at here. Um, clearly, it's a tabletop, uh, you know, but it's also an engineered wood panel. Uh, in this case, it's Western hemlock planks, which have been kiln dried, acclimatized, moisture checked, uh, and laid up according to the grain direction, uh, then edge glued to make a panel. Um, all professional furniture manufacturers in India will be familiar with this process. Um, in this example, the Western Red Cedar tabletop and bench seats. Again, solid planks, edge glue to make panels. But what if we don't have a beautiful eight foot long solid planks? Um, I think perhaps we can make long planks from shorter pieces by finger jointing. There are two ways of finger jointing. Uh, vertical, as we see on the left hand side with the fingers visible on the face of the plank, or horizontal, as we see on the right-hand side, with fingers visible on the edge. Now for a panel, we can use a horizontal finger joint, then we don't notice the fingers on the visible surface. This table is made from spruce pine fir and it's 16 feet long. So the question is, is it a good idea to use 16 foot long solid planks for a panel? I would say no. Uh, much better, I think, to use finger jointed um, or to finger joint using shorter lengths, because it's very important that this tabletop remains straight and level and stable. And that's exactly what the contractor did. In this case, using four foot lengths uh, joined with a vertical micro finger joint. The result uh, is quite stunning. Similarly, um, you know, what is a door if not a large engineered panel or combination of panels? Uh, we heard in our last webinar on doors and door frames that oversized entrance doors are becoming more popular with rapidly growing demand. The 10 foot and taller doors do present a challenge in terms of weight, straightness and stability. The doors shown here are made from yellow cedar finger jointed edge glued panels. And these oversized windows are also made from engineered components which could be uh, resawn from precision, precision panels. I think this is the new revolution in wood, minimizing waste, uh, using smaller pieces, <coughs> in controlling costs. Artis is a leader in the field, employing engineered components for all their window and door projects or products, sorry, uh, using only the highest grade of yellow cedar available and carefully selecting for moisture content and grain. The wood is finger jointed and or laminated for extra strength and stability. And then in some cases, uh, laminated or wrapped for a seamless solid lumber look. There are many examples of finger jointed edge glued engineered panels, such as these beautiful traditional carved doors made in India in Western Red Cedar and Yellow Cedar. Now, when it comes to door jams, Canadian wood has identified some challenges, as uh, Pranesh alluded to, whereby manufacturers uh, want to make different section sizes, which don't always match the available plank sizes. For instance, if we need a 58 millimeter thickness uh, by 123 millimeter width for a door jam, how can we make that door jam economically from standard planks? Those planks would need to be at least 65 millimeters in thickness after drying. Uh, and in our experience, this is not a regularly available size in any species. <clears throat> One solution might be to produce 58 millimeter thick panels. 
made from say two by four and wider Western hemlock or yellow cedar. By using an economical grade, such as number two shop or short trim ends, and by finger jointing, we can manufacture door jam lengths very precisely. And so these panels uh, can be made to a door jam length precisely. So a panel might be four feet wide by seven feet long, or seven and a half feet, uh, or eight feet, or nine feet, even 10 feet in length. Um, the finished panels made from seasoned and planed lumber can then be sanded to a fine finish at our desired thickness, whatever that is, in this example, 58 millimetres. And then we simply cut our door jam widths uh, to the, you know, as per the specification from the customer. So now we have our 58 millimetre thick uh, door jams to various widths depending on demand. This product, um, which is a finger jointed edge glued panel in Western Hemlock, is a new initiative from Can Canadian Wood. The panels seen here have been imported for trial purposes and can be produced in clear or tight knot grades. Thus, they provide all the advantages of kiln dried, precision engineered construction with finished sanding, along with maximum size flexibility for door jam and furniture applications. Canadian Wood has partnered with many manufacturers in India with a mutual interest in evaluating our species the suitability, workability, finishing, and performance through product trials, many of which have resulted in furniture and door jam programs using Canadian wood. And we're going to hear from two of those uh, partners uh, later on in this presentation. By finger jointing, edge gluing, and, and sometimes also face gluing, we can make any thickness or length in a panel form. Uh, then cut the door jams, to the required width, as I explained. These door jams are precise and sanded and therefore only require molding to the required shape with or without rebate. Western hemlock is our species of choice due to its availability, pleasing appearance and strength. However, yellow cedar is also an option for door jams. And yellow cedar is also a popular option for doors and windows. Note the straight lines just visible at the horizontal finger joint. If this look is not wanted, uh, we can laminate uh, or stain or paint. Um, Western, Western hemlock performs very well in these circumstances, uh, as does yellow cedar and even Western red cedar seen here painted with a, a green primer. Following my talk today, we'll be hearing from Mr. P.V. Haradasan from Kerala State Rubber Cooperative and Penny Patel of Navnurman on their experience in making and using finger jointed edge glue panels and products. Both speakers will talk about a wide range of products made from these panels, including furniture and door jams. The point here is that finger jointed edge glued panels offer tremendous versatility and Panit and Mr. Haradasan will expand on this. We can manufacture panels to precise lengths and thicknesses. We can use them as panels uh, or we can resaw them for door jams or furniture components with minimum waste. These engineered furniture examples in Douglas fir come from Wheaton Design in Jaipur and Helios Decor in Mysore. Right now in India, there's also a growing awareness and interest in glue laminated products, widely known as glue lamb beams and columns. These products are used in place of steel and concrete in large structures. But my real point uh, here is the resemblance to a finger jointed edge glued panel. When glue lamb is laid over on its horizontal axis, what we see, as we see in this image, is a finger jointed face glue panel in reality. After all, the process is very similar to making finger jointed edge glue panels, except on a larger scale. Essentially, we're making huge oversized panels, which will not be resawn, uh, but the process is the same. Uh, finger jointed and face glued structural lumber, in the case of glue lamb, 
versus finger jointed edge glue appearance lumber in the case of finger jointed edge glue panels for remanufacturing. Canadian Wood was very pleased to have partnered with SEPT University and Akar Design in the execution and sourcing of the glue lamb for this impressive roof structure at SEPT University Underbund, India's first Canadian wood glue lamb structure. And this is our next engineered wood project in India. It's a 6,000 square foot house to be built in Hyderabad in collaboration with Mac Group, using Canadian wood throughout. This house will feature glue lamb columns, beams, and a GLT floor panel system, the first of its kind in India. As I said earlier, the GLT floor panel is simply a deep glue lamb which when laid over becomes a glue laminated panel. All of the beams and columns seen here are engineered glue lambs with the first floor GLT panel floor system clearly visible. There's an eye catching yet very practical feature supported by glue lamb columns. So whether we're making edge glued panels from solid or finger jointed lumber, or GLT panels from face glued finger jointed lumber, there is a degree of precision and a skill set needed in order to execute successfully. In so doing, we can see there is an enormous range and versatility of products which can be made from these engineered panels. Tables, doors, door jams, and furniture panels, even structural uh, floor systems. British Columbia is blessed with five distinct species which are offered in the export markets. Uh, four of those five Canadian wood species are available in clear grades, ideal for high-end furniture and joinery, including finger jointed edge glued panels, and eminently viable alternatives to exotic hardwoods. All Canadian wood arriving in India is sawn finished lumber with excellent working properties. Uh, taking that extra step, step to manufacture super versatile finger jointed edge glue panels from this lumber opens up many product opportunities. I believe the introduction of high quality Canadian softwood and sawn lumber form is the most significant advancement in wood manufacturing in India today. So with that I'll wrap it up uh, from my end and again with many thanks to you the audience for your attendance today. Uh, I'll look forward to your questions after our next speaker sessions. Uh, thanks for your attention. And now I, I will introduce Mr. P.V. Haridasan. Uh, just before, I just want to, uh, uh, sorry, introduce Mr. Haridasan with a, a short uh, preview. Uh, Mr. Par Mr. Haridasan is Managing Director of Kerala State Rubber, Com Kerala State Rubber Cooperative Limited, sorry, popularly known as Rubco, the largest manufacturing industry in the cooperative sector. And he currently sits on the boards of several associated companies, including Rubco Huat Woods, Rubco Coconut India, Rubco Tires, Rubco uh, Streak and Applaud on Latex, Rubco Sales International and Trest Park. During his 35 plus years career, Mr. Harry Dustin has also been instrumental in the project planning and setting up of production units and health healthcare organizations across India. With such a broad range of experience across many industries, including textile, uh, rubber, coconut, wood furniture, Mr. Haridasan possesses a creative vision in the implementation of projects on a cost versus endurance basis. We are indeed fortunate to hear from Mr. Haridasan on our chosen topic today, and so it's my great pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Mr. P.V. Haridasan. Go ahead, Mr. Haridasan.
Thank you, Peter, for your nice words. Thank you, Kennedy Woods, for this opportunity. Um, Mr. Hi. Hi. Yeah. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This time I am not going into details of technical issues. I would like to share with you my experience with Canadian Woods. Before that, let me introduce our company in short. We, Kerala State Rubber Cooperative Limited, popularly known as Rapco, is the largest of its kinds initiated by government of Kerala, associating with the 430 primary cooperative societies with over 20 lakhs members. And of course, with the, such a huge stake, our main objective is, is to lift, uplift small and marginal farmers in Kerala. And we manufacture various products and its quality are highest and we got so acclamation on this thing. We have been growing the past 25 years. We have got multiple product lines like furnitures, square mattresses, slippers of rubber, thread rubber, and so on. And we have got about nine factories spread across Kerala. And our flagship unit is of course, processed rubber wood factory in Kannur, northern part of Kerala. We are the innovators who has introduced finger joining technology in India, associately and using Malaysian technology. This furniture unit we set up here is the largest of its kind in India, having three and a half lakh square feet single roof factory facility. More than 1,000 skilled workers are there, and we have got fully equipped design and quality departments. As told you earlier, the 20 lakhs plus stakeholders, our responsibility, our social responsibility is at large. So we use plantation wood and sustainable energy towards the nature. And our furniture uh, unit is broadly classified into three. Sawmill and treatment and kill and seasoning, figure joining and a composing line, furniture, fabrication, and finishing line. Here, we have got a capacity to saw 240 cubic meters timber every day. And the seasoning capacity, we are having kill and with 22,000 CFT capacity three separate finger joining lines, which can make 300 boards per shift altogether, about nine lakh square meter panel boards can be made a year in our factory. And we put almost all modern uh, machineries here. We broadly classify our products into four category. First, it is RSKD, then finger joints, glued panel boards, and finger join glued beams. Finally, we also make treated rubber wood furniture of various uses. You can see a few of our products that we are done for our customers. We, at present, are concentrating our marketing in government sector and public sector organizations. A few of our major clients are Rajbhav and Trivandrum, Kerala GM's office, Indian Railways, Cochin International Airport, Guruayu Temple Devasam, etc. And we have got around 150 dealers in Kerala spread across South India. We have four showrooms to display our products. The current scenario, the market opportunity is very high for furniture. It's growing. Post-COVID, it is further growing domestic sector because of the COVID and the work from home practices. 
and we have got ample scope for ex segment expansion and territorial expansion. But when there is market as well as capacity, we could not achieve our capacity utilization fully. Presently, we are working using 35% of our capacity utilization. The main reason is our basic raw material, rubber wood, it is not that smooth to uh, collect. There are many reasons associated with it, like seasonal issues, decreasing replantation, and increasing demand from other sectors and uh, short girth, etc. So, to increase our capacity, we tried various alternative options pine wood, coconut, MDF, PVC, and plywood are the uh, items we verified. And we tested various factors like availability, cost, screw holding capacity, then, uh, uh, then polishing, uh, load bearing, etc. on these items. We found they have got limited applications. They may be suitable for some place, but may not be suitable for other places. And a total replacement for our capacity addition is not possible with any of these, thing, these items. At this juncture, we got the offer form. I mean, they are represented and we got an opportunity to try Canadian goods in place of, in lieu of, Rubber wood, treated rubber wood. And we got certain some samples of Western hamlock, Western hamlock for this purpose. The lumber sites are prefixed for shipping. Of course, when we got it, we thought of uh, sewing it to the required thickness and edge gluing to make panel boards and the beams, whatever the size we require. But on cut, uh, sewing it, we found knots and cracks. Of course, these are always available in natural materials like gloves. And when coming across with the knots and soft portion, we have to remove it for a, a, a panel board making. So resizing was necessitated on these materials. For this, we cut into small pieces. Then the next option is to work finger joint and we may uh, finger joint with the typical glues and uh, uh, adhesives what we have been using for furniture uh, our material and edge glue to make the panel board of our standard size and on working on it we found it's easy to work on machines like a planing sewing and also it gives smooth finishes finger joints we found with the D3 glues, it's smoothly cut and a strong formation uh, is made for Canadian wood also. And for edge gluing also with the polyvinyl acetate and its hardener, it gave, gave us required and uh, our satisfactory glue joints. Once the boards are made, we used it for sanding in our wide bed to sander and the result was quite satisfactory. There, are our quality parameters are met. Finally, we made furniture out of it. We made wardrobes, of course, one of which I am using, tables, chairs, etc., were made from this finger joint edge glued hamlock boards. There, working on it, Tenant motorizing was comfortable and the joints are found strong for Canadian wood also. The screw holding capacity was found good to the requirement for which it is made. And in, while finishing, we found we have been using polyurethane lacquers for our finishing and we applied the same on Canadian wood furniture also. And we got the same finish as that of rubber wood. Finally, we conducted the usual tests what we have been conducting on our materials. At 12% moisture contents, we tried static bending strength, 
static uh, parallel and perpendicular to the profile and also for the edge gluing then we uh, tested compressive strength tensile strength parallel and uh, to the finger profile delamination with boiling water nail and screw holding power test on these items so we found it is quite satisfactory so we find that for a capacity for our capacity utilization this is an alternate item to what presently we have been using this treated rubber wood for which we are known of so we are thinking of extending this hamlock trial further by making more boards of different dimensions and a different purpose and more furniture products and friends i will like to share you as as i told you in the beginning itself that we have got ample opportunity if anybody if you are interested we can uh, we, we can share our capacity with the prospective clients for mutual benefits of all quite thank you that uh, our use with this uh, canadian input was quite satisfactory and it is encouraging and i thank you for giving this uh, opportunity to explain my experience our experience with this sort of wood where we can improve our operations further thank you thank you all thank you gentlemen and ladies thank you mr haridasan that was a wonderful presentation yes yes thank you mr haridasan very uh, very informative and uh, a lot of uh, fantastic information in there i'm quite impressed at the testing you've done it's it's very encouraging to see that uh, you've had mostly positive experience uh, using canadian wood in particular western hemlock so very much appreciated um it's now my pleasure to introduce our next speaker uh, mr puneet patel uh, puneet's a young and dynamic entrepreneur with a clear vision about made in india thing enjoys in boards and panels um one of his goals i'm told is to replace rubber wood boards coming to india um with better quality boards made in india that's an admirable goal uh he's an mba graduate with a strong background in the corporate sector uh, which he's been able to bring to the family business uh, his ability to take aggressive yet wise decisions um in combination with his uh, quite impeccable business timing is one of uh, the differentiating factors which sets him apart uh sunet was instrumental in diversifying the core business of navnerm to figure joint edge glue boards and panels uh, establishing the brand and creating a large network of distributors uh, the sense of the need of the hour and innovation became uh, the integrator really for navnerm and canadian wood and so i'm very pleased and fortunate to be able to introduce the very talented punit patel Thanks, thank you sir. peter for your kind words uh, thank you for providing us an opportunity and we appreciate uh, let me introduce myself ladies and gentlemen good afternoon to one and, uh, one and of all uh, this is puneet patel here uh let me take back to our journey i stay date backs in the year 1949 as our gen generations were into traders and the larger suppliers of wood based materials with a value chain so we have moved up uh, and we diversified uh, with engineered products uh, in the year 2003 our company was incorporated with the vision of providing the best engineer wood wherein in the 2012 we have started manufacturing engineered uh, finger joint boards with the species of teak wood and spruce wood as well and in the year 2019 we have built a dedicated infrastructure for manufacturing finger joint boards with wide range of species we have a state of art manufacturing facility with production capacity of 5000 boards per month also we have independent r&d department who regularly practice for developing engineer products very where very soon uh, we shall come up with launch of engineer cladding and panel products as well also we have a in house uh, seasoning facility with perspective of engine quality control as per quality compliance as we have built strong solid dealers across pan india over 200 still more growing 
a company vision to be the most recognized and preferred good engineer company in the financial 23 2023 mission to build quality customers with providing lasting experience of engineer products and meet international quality standards uh, we have a strong based business ethics and principles as we have a strong fundamentals uh, which we have learned from our generations as well we have a solid infrastructure our infrastructure consists of a four side plana with six spindle technology finger cutting machine with precise technology finger jointing machine with precise technology white belt sander with calibration technology and hand in spoon and the perfect form of finish we also we we tra uh, we transport our process line with the help of conveyor belt in terms of reduction of a time with effective and efficient way why fjb because it is an engineer product and ready to use in wide range of applications using engineer wood products we can save forest by buying small pieces of wood and also it is less formal high emission compared to other panel products it is flexible and easy in applications as well it gives better stability and dimension as well it also can be customized with versatile application that is a thick solid wood section compared to ply it can be easily transport to any mode of and it's a defect free as well applications of finger joint boards in engineer boards can be used in wide range of applications like door frames it's a new trend going on currently like a laminated board with lot of with, with lot of inquiries are pouring us and also can be used in door shutters furnitures like making tables chairs cots etc it can be used in kitchen wardrobes it can be used in flooring as well it can be used in staircase as well it can be used in wall ceiling wall paneling as well uh, they are the uh, our now newman products have been used in some of the prestigious product projects in the segment of chain of restaurants like stores showrooms smalls etc our, our products has been used in table tops chairs and wall designing as well our products have been used in one of the cafe showroom in hyderabad one of the noted showroom you can see the wall you can see the pictures it's a well lasting applications as well even it has been used in door frames even used in used in making of handles as well at a, you can see it's a optical showroom where our products has been used in cross timber in a section in a uh, area of ceiling as well you can see the pictures how the lasting it's showing the appealing and some of the uh, images uh, which our products have been used in resorts as well why now near man boards because uh, we use certified products and uh, we have a dedicated infrastructure for making finger joint boards with wide range uh, we have a brand legacy in south india but we are catering across uh, india but we got a, we are holding a very strong brand across so uh, recently uh, we have given authorized distribution to one of the karnataka player his name is mr fabput care of tushar and uh, we also entertain customization opportunity to experience with the clients as well we got a very good source engine quality to meet and match with international standards as well we have a very aggressive marketing approach because we have we have the best of tools in terms of catering the products to niche to the above level so that we can cater in the economical segment in the premium segment as well journey with canadian wood uh, uh, i do remember very well uh, in the year 2015 with ritesh ji has come down he said puneet ji why don't you test our products in the in comes to canadian wood i said okay come down ritesh ji we start testing your products so in the year 2016 we got four species of uh, canadian wood we have tested uh, we got amazing results and we started in the fr uh, front line production in terms of sps so we had a trial fit hemlock for 45 mm boards and also uh, boards with canadian woods is a, is into our main product line currently so we just have scratched the tip of spice a long way to go thank you thank you puneet yes thank you puneet um very very informative and uh, uh it's great to see so many examples of of uh, you know wonderful products and great jobs um So happy to hear about your positive experience as well in Canadian wood, and great to see it as part of your permanent product line. So, um, 
I think uh, we, we're at a stage now where we can uh, open, it, open it up to questions. I noticed some questions are coming in. Um, I, I've noticed uh, one or two on the chat line as well. Um, I don't know if they're addressed to any, anyone in particular. Um, I mean, one of the first questions I've got actually uh, is, is can Canadian wood be bought in small quantities um, uh, for DIY enthusiasts to practice and experiment on? That's, yes, a great question. And the answer is, is yes, uh, Amrita. Um, uh, we have uh, 40 stockists across India, so depending on where you are. Um, uh, but certainly uh, Canadian wood's available from those stockists in, uh, in a variety of species, uh, grades and sizes. So um, definitely those stockists are able to cater for uh, smaller, smaller quantities and smaller users. Um, I have a, a recent question, which maybe I can address to uh, Panit. Um, and that is about uh, what thicknesses are available in finger jointed edge glue panels, Penny. Yeah, we manufacture with the range of 12 mm to 45 mm. We manufacture and 12 mm is a standard, 18 mm is a standard, 24 mm, 30 mm, and 45 mm. Feel, feel free to uh, activate your video, Penny, and also uh, Mr. Haradasan, please activate your video and microphone. Yeah, um, yeah so um, you, 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 you have standard thicknesses 12, did I hear you say, and 45? Yep, yes. In, yeah. Um, is it, is it economical to make any other thickness? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that, uh, for instance, for door jams, we, we know that 58 millimetres is a thickness and perhaps 70 millimetres is a thickness. And this is what we want to create uh, using headlock as a raw material. Is that something that makes sense? Uh, till date, we have tried 45 mm in Western headlock and we got a very good result. And we have supplied to one of the projects. Uh, it's been a year and a half. So I think so 45 mm is quite enough actually in that section. If you look into the price way, uh, if, you, if, you, if they compare with teak, the prices are almost uh, at par with teak. So if you go with a more larger thickness, again, the price would be the concern for, for the client's end. So there would be a problem with the pricing as well. So my opinion is 45, either 50 mm is the best thickness what we can cater with in terms of perspective of pricing, what we can look forward. So this is it. this is what we can do it. Yeah, no, you know, that, that really does raise a, a very important point. And I, I think we've actually started to discover this. A few years ago, people were wanting three by eight door jams and, you know, two and a half by seven door jams, really wide, thick door jams. But I, I think what you're saying is, you know, with, with these engineered products, actually the, the size of the jam is, is quite adequate, even two inch, uh, 45 mil, for instance, by six and eight inches, it's becoming more popular and more acceptable. And at a more affordable cost. So yeah, that's a, it's a great question and a great answer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank and uh, Mr. Haridasan, uh, are you there? Mr. Haridasan, can you switch on your video? Yes, uh, regarding this price factor, as I told you, that it is the preliminary stage, what we have been trying, not on the commercial aspects, but uh, what we have found is that it is at par with the what, or a bit more than what uh, uh, treated rubber would be cost uh, now. Maybe because of the, our comfortab uh, comfortability and our planning requirement, because we have been planning according to our uh, rubber wood uh, scanlings and RSKD, that may come down when it is commercially used. But the main advantage what we have found is, apart from this pricing factor, that is the availability factor. Is, as far as uh, rubber is concerned, it has got its own inherited uh, difficulties of storing it and uh, making availability. When that is taken into consideration, the price will be uh, slightly be better for this Canadian boots because yes, we will be using our capacity utilization to the higher extent. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, with economies of scale and experience, and you know, deciding upon the the the. Uh, uh, the perfect uh, dimensions and sizes, where the demand might be. Uh, yes, uh, we can we can certainly make it. Uh, Hemlock will fit in as a as a very affordable and cost effective product. What uh, can I ask you? What thickness uh, panels do you commonly usually make in rubber wood? Uh, 
Normally, we are using uh, uh, from 12, uh, 12 mm to 36 mm with our sand. So let me let me move on to another question. Um, someone else has asked uh, specifically about Hyderabad. Uh, are there any stockists in a Hyderabad? Well, yes, I think we have two, maybe three stockists. I will uh, I'll let Ritesh, our, our business development manager for that region, uh, respond to that question uh, in writing. So the answer to your question, though, uh, yes, there are stockists in Hyderabad where you can pick up Canadian wood. Um, I've got a, another question, general question. I think it's for, I think maybe I'll uh, hand it to Mr. Haradasan. It's regarding shrinkage and swelling in these in these uh, finger jointed edge panels. We all know that, that timber is hygroscopic and that it does you know move a little bit with uh, moisture absorption and release. Um, what's your experience in uh, with rubber wood panels and with uh, hemlock uh, panels? We are we are almost found the same levels of our results in both the rubber wood. Maybe uh, slightly to, it will vary because it is a laboratory testing. Uh, uh, what we have been doing for this new wood. Uh, that atmosphere is different, commercial aspect and uh, maybe different, but it is comfortable. We are satisfied right. with it. And I'm happy to tell that uh, uh, I'm using one of the furniture uh, cupboard made out of it. Made oh, out good. of it. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's an endorsement. Yeah. And, and Penny, uh, do you have any any experience with shrinkage and swelling of these products? You know, uh, in initially, uh, initially we are found while using sprues in the thickness of 12 mm and 18 mm. The more thickness we go, there was little bit of shrinkage and swelling as well. To uh, to offset the shrinkage and the swelling as well, the moisture content is very important, and the pressure gauge in terms of technology, what you use in terms of pressing the boards, that's, that plays a very important aspect. So if you control that completely into a method, so there'll be a no proper shrinkage. And uh, uh, and it will offset the bend as well, so you won't kind you won't face any kind of problems till the clients end actually. So what I say, as a timber, it's natural resources. Okay, uh, what be driven with? So it's uh, once the, once these boards, uh, I mean, uh, reaches to clients and they apply into a particular application with the proper sections in terms of interlocking, there'll be a no proper sinkage at all. And what we have found from our okay. clients end actually. Um, I've got another question here, which um, I'll, I'll address to you also, Pranik, and then to Mr. Hodas, and that is, um, well, I think you've answered it, actually. It's, it's, the question is, do, do you have a board suitable for door frames and shutters? Well, I think you've already answered the question regarding uh, uh, door frames. Yes. Um, perhaps uh, in relation to door shutters, do you hope you specify anything in particular for door shutters? Talking about wind uh, timber? Yes. Finger jointed edge glue. Do you use that in door shutters? Yeah, we do use in door shutters, but it has to be on a carpentry style in terms of making it. If you use it into a single panel, there's a there's a chances of shrinkage in a door shutters. Yeah, there okay, good point. A vertical, there has to be a vertical and the horizontal direction. It has to be a properly interlocked. So in terms yes. of avoiding the bend as well. So in that kind of application, Western Hemlock is the best ideal wood can be used in particular segment. It's a very big market. So we can market accordingly. Okay. So which market in particular are you referring to? There? The door shutter market? Yeah, door shutter market. Yes. Yes. There's lots of demand among the OEMs. Currently, there are a lot of people are asking with the price. So we can match up with the price in terms of Western name block. There's a scope and the opportunity as well. So if we start promoting a products in particular segment, so at least we can grab market share up to 2 to 3%, 4%. Gradually, we can increase it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. And Mr. Haridasan, um, what is your experience with uh, these products used in door shutters? Uh, so far, we have not used it for uh, door shutters, but uh, uh, when we are using it uh, for uh, using our rubber treated rubber, we have come across the same sort of issues. What Mr. Punid was telling, it has to be framed. Otherwise, it is naturally to be bent. Yes. That uh, yes. consideration we like to make, and to also we have to see it is interior because otherwise exterior join, uh, glues has to be used while finger joining and edge gluing. We are facing the same issues with uh, rubber wood also, and but we have not tried this in, in, with uh, Canadian woods. Okay, thank you very much. Um, 
I'm getting getting some questions here from uh, Jimmy that he's helping me with, but I think we've asked those questions. Uh, let me just take another look at the Q and A. Um, someone asking about agri waste, you know, in, to, in terms of engineered wood, commas and engineered wood, is probably not uh, so relevant with our discussion today. I think it's uh, okay, Mr. Dubé. He's he's asked for a written answer on this. I mean. Uh, you know, wood waste is used in engineered uh, products. Uh, examples of that would be, um, you know, sawdust used in, in MDF, um, wood chips and, or, or flakes used in OSB, um, offcuts of, of veneers are used for LVL, those sorts of things. We'll get back to you, Mr. Dubé, uh, in, in writing on that question. Um, okay, here's one. Uh, Probably for both speakers, Mr. Harris, Harris, uh, you might want to answer this one. Uh, what is the delivery time for? Well, you're not doing this commercially yet, so maybe it's not a fair question for you. I'll, I'll direct it to Penny. Um, what's the delivery time for Western Hemlock boards? You know, of 18 to 25 millimeters. And, and, uh, and okay, uh, for, for this, normally we'll uh, uh, we may, we need two to three days to make uh, boards from the lumber okay. and we, we reaching to us. But okay. if, uh, yeah, if client driving is required, that much uh, time may require to uh, bring down the moisture content, see if it is there. Okay. Anyway, it, is, okay. it won't be more than one in a week. As uh, coming back to your question, Mr. Peter, when yeah. it comes to delivery, uh, what I feel is that if, if anyone of the client places order for like 1,000 sheets, 1,000 boards, 2,000 boards, so initially we take 14 days in terms of uh, uh, giving a part consignment and therefore every two to two, two days we deliver them like 600 sheets, 600 sheets. This is where we, uh, within a month time, we can uh, deliver 2,000 boards. Okay, wow, impressive. Thank you. Um, Someone asking if uh, finger joint ridge blue boards can be used in a road crash barrier. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, it'd be interesting test though. Depends how thick we make it. Um, I'm sure it's a serious question. I don't know if it's been used, but I, I think the durability factor might come into play there. Um, uh, there's a question for Mr. Haridassan about what type of tests he's conducted. <laughs> But I think you covered that. I think you covered that, Mr. Haridassan, in your quite well in your presentation, where you've carried out all sorts of, of tests in compression and, and uh, uh, strength test and bending and screw holding and uh, boiling water test. Is there anything else that, that we need to test? No, that is the, these are the standard tests we are be conducting, and of course we have got the benchmarks there also. What is to be the research? And that we will be proceeding. Um, and another question is, is Canadian wood termite free? Very good question. Um, actually, no. Uh, we, ha we have two species, uh, yellow cedar and, West and uh, western red cedar, which are very termite resistant, extremely termite resistant, naturally resistant without the use of any chemical. Uh, unfortunately, hemlock is not one of them. Hemlock is not termite resistant. Um, so, you know, in, in terms of using wood in termite areas, um, I tell people it's it really is about good design, taking the right precautions, keeping wood away from ground contact. Um, you know, and it, it becomes a question of interior use versus exterior use and so on. So just a, it's a direct answer. We have two species uh, which are termite free, which probably leads me to another question. And that's for both Puneet and Mr. Harry Dasson. Have you tried um, uh, finger joint and edge glued products using western red cedar and or yellow cedar? No, yellow cedar, western, western hemlock we are done. Yellow yes. cedar we are not ready. We, we may try in future to see how Thank things you. are made. Western and hemlock, yeah, western hemlock we made trials in 45 mm, in 30 mm we made. And uh, the samples we have uh, presented to our esteemed dealer, our distributor. So we're in his marketing our products. So a lot of inquiries are pouring us. So hopefully this turns into materializing way. And regarding with yellow cedar, in the 2016, we have tried making boards in 18 mm in yellow cedar. So the results were amazing. It's been mean, an anti-termite wood. So yep. again, again in India, it's a cost factor again. 
So that's not encouraging us to manufacture these yellow cedar boards actually. At the moment, right, yeah. yeah. But you know, we, we feel that yellow cedar is a great uh, solution yeah. um, where there is a termite or moisture issue, you know, in, in door jams, in, in, you know, in wet areas, in, yeah. in front entrances and those sorts of things where people may pay a bit more for a, for a durable, beautiful, you know, uh, door jam. But obviously, it has to be, make commercial sense for you. Yes. Yeah. Understood. Um, okay, someone else is asking, uh, what about 16 millimetres thick? I, I don't think 16 millimetres is a production size at the moment. Uh, you know, yes, we do enter in 16 mm also. If any of the dealers, distributors, or architects, or builders they ask, we also do entertain making 16 mm boards as well because that used in the kitchen shutters as well. Okay. The market, yeah. Good so point. We, okay. So we are making some trials with 16 mm board. Uh, with a company called Woodscape. Actually, it's located in Hyderabad. They are one of the leading manufacturers in board drops and kitchen cabinets. So we have produced some SPF boards and we have supplied to them. So uh, so we are. Uh, by next, probably by next to next week, uh, we shall get a result from them in terms of their application. Oh, great. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, I have another question here from uh, Nikhil Tambi. Uh, hi, Nikhil. Um, how suitable are finger joint edge glue boards for carving work and furniture with curved shapes? Any experience, uh, Tadeem? Sorry? Have you any experience with... Uh, Finger jointed edge glue uh, products being used for carving, carving work, and you know curved shapes and furniture, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, uh, we have got experience with uh, using with this carving application as well. In fact, in house we do also have a carving uh, technology. Uh, we made some trials, but uh, that's un again that's under a project. So hopefully, even that shall we shall launch that products as well. So now basically we are coming up with uh, uh, engineered wall cladding, engineered wall ceiling as well with Western Hemlock. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. And Mr. Harry Dasson, um, I, I, I'm sure you. I don't think your facility is catering for for carving and, and bending, but uh, do you do any of that work in rubber wood? Mr. Harry Dasson, you're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute, Mr. Harry Dasson. Yes, we have been doing this carving uh, works and furniture with the carvings uh, with our rubber and we have made some statues uh, also with it. And we don't find any uh, difficulty because the parameters and the uh, wood won't make much difference when we use the uh, hamlock. Uh, so it is quite possible we feel that we can, be, we can do it even with this, thing, uh, this uh, material. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Um, good to hear. Um, Peter, that's your last question. Just one more question. Okay. So um, just we're starting to get a little bit of a run on questions toward the end. But uh, um, so one of the questions, a couple of quick questions, Nurnla. Uh, one of them is, is regarding, uh, is it possible to use Canadian wood in H-beam or I-beam manufacturing? Uh, look, the answer to that is yes. Um, Probably uh, spruce pine fir would be the species that we would suggest for HP manufacturing. And we can elaborate on that uh, perhaps more in a more in a personal exchange, Harpreet. Uh, someone else asked uh, if, uh, wants to know if warping occurs due to the laminate. Panit, any, any, any comment? Oh, Mr. Peter? Any, any warping in these panels? Warping. Warping, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I said. Again, it's a moisture. Again, it's a challenge. The moisture is less than uh, six to five percent. Then I think the, the, there is no uh, warping at all. End of the day, perspective of the application. If, if I say, uh, if you use in the door shutters, like the open shutters with the proper locking sections, there'll be no warpage. Okay. Yeah, I thought we covered that too. Um, so I'll have to wrap it up. Um, someone's asking about the availability of your products in Northern India. Are they available in Northern India? Who need? Yeah, Mr. Peter. Are, you, are your products available in Northern India, North India? North, uh, Northern India, we have supplied to one of the company called Saraswati Works actually. Uh, because of the fries, uh, we are unable to cater with him. So 
And he is only one of the skilled dealer who is supplying with Bangladesh. All right. Well, thank you very much, very much for your uh, for your great answers today and the presentations. Very entertaining. I'll just hand it back to Nirmal to finish off. Uh, and uh, thanks again, everyone, for uh, participating. Thank you, Mr. Peter. Thank you, Thank Peter. You Thank you, Peter, for a very informative and engaging discussion. Um, basically, I would just like, before I wrap, up, uh, wrap it up, I would just like to take this opportunity to personally thank each panel member for showcasing their range of work and experience in working with Canadian Wood. Mr. P.V. Haridasan, Managing Director, Kerala State Rubber Cooperative, for sharing his immense knowledge on creating finger-jointed boards. Mr. Puneet Patel, uh, Director, Nav Nirman Industries, Hyderabad, for sharing his vast area of work in creating furniture and the pictures which he showed us from these FJEG boards. And of course, Peter Prattfield for an excellent moderation of this webinar. Uh, I know there must be some questions that have been unanswered today. It was a very healthy discussion out there. Uh, but what we'll try and do is capture all these questions as raised in the Q&A panel and uh, try and address them to the panel speakers if you have marked them specially to them. And uh, we'll get back to you via email in a few days time through our business development team members. Uh, if you still would like to know more about Canadian Wood, please do not hesitate to reach out to us by visiting our Canadian Wood website or by contacting any of our uh, business development managers. You must be all knowing most of them. Uh, they'll be most happy to assist you. Um, just after the webinar, you'll receive a survey link from Canadian Wood. Kindly uh, fill it back and share it with us. We are open to feedback and suggestions. We look forward to seeing you again at our next webinar. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.